I'm still getting a lot of emails from listeners who are trying to read the tea leaves about whether their own institutions may close. Uh, when I get those emails, I, I can't really respond to individual situations. Uh, with not, I really don't have enough information to responsibly do that. But I did think it might be worthwhile to share with my readers uh, some of the websites that I uh, consult regularly that provide up-to-date information about what schools are doing, including which schools have closed and why. In other words, the context of the closure. So let me take you through some of those. The first page is from uh, an, a website called Education Dive, uh, look at trends in college consolidation since 2016. Uh, this, it's important to look back a few years uh, because the context is important. Very few schools that close do so abruptly. Uh, very often they do so over a defined period of time, or if they're merging with another school, then there's a certain time frame in which they're going to do that. Uh, this site um, will show you the first, here's the entire United States, and you can see the, the more closures that have been in a state, the darker that state becomes, showing you, of course, as we've discussed before, most of the closures are in the northeastern United States. Um, but then here on the side, it takes you uh, state by state with the number of institutions that have closed in the state, uh, which institutions those are, uh, and, uh, and when they closed. Then finally, um, down here, it'll take you through the most recent closures and consolidations. Uh, as of a particular date, the information available, so here's Pine Manor College in Massachusetts. Um, they're being taken over by Boston College. If you want to read more, there's a place here for you to click on that. Uh, and then they take you through quite a few of those. So it's, it's, a very, uh, it's a very useful site for really understanding the context and understanding uh, why institutions close and when. The second uh, site I'd like to show you is one of the first two I'll show you from the Chronicle of Higher Education. And uh, by the way, these are important because uh, unlike uh, most of the Chronicle, they're not behind a paywall. Uh, and I think, honestly, they're the most frequently updated pages of this type. All of this information uh, is available in multiple places, uh, but what really matters is how often uh, the, the, the place is updated. So uh, this one here um, is pretty good. This tracks employees laid off or furloughed by colleges, and you can see here uh, it shows a long list of colleges, but you can search in this table for any school you like. It shows you the name of the institution, who controls it, what state, what action's been taken, how many workers were affected, and in some cases, what type of workers were affected. So if a school's made a decision only to lay off staff, but not faculty, um, they indicate that. Um, and so it can be very useful. Uh, there's also a place uh, down here at the bottom uh, for if your school is not listed or the information is not up to date, that allows you to, um, to enter it uh, here. Now, the third page I'd like to show you, um, and I have actually discussed this one before on, uh, this, uh, on this channel. We have here the list of colleges' plans for reopening in the fall, once again from the Chronicle. And uh, you can see, for example, that this was last updated at 5.20 p.m. on June 12th, well, which was just yesterday. And um, You'll see this graph, I've actually shown it before, although the pro proportions here have changed a bit since I last showed it, but it basically it shows the different kinds of approaches, what percentage of schools are taking different approaches in the fall. And uh, then, of course, just like before, it uh, lists the schools individually and allows you to search here for them. And uh, uh, this is a very, uh, very complete list. You can see we're just here on the first page. We're just in the A's. And so uh, they're, they're tracking a lot of schools uh, here. That's, uh, they've got, uh, it says we're currently tracking about 960 colleges. And once again, if, they're, if the information about your school is not there, there's a, a way for you to submit that information. I appreciate your questions and I hope this information was helpful to you. I hope that you're safe and healthy and I look forward to speaking with you again next week.